Yo, what's up, GG Nation, GG Legion, your fella again, Strauss Man, the GG. And as you can see on screen, we're gonna play some uh, Kirby Star Allies demo. I believe this game comes out next Friday, I believe. And we're gonna talk a little bit of, uh, I wanted to kill two birds with one stone. I wanted to try this demo out, A. And B, we're gonna talk over uh, what I think is gonna happen for the direct, and I'm gonna try to grab somebody for a, uh, for a uh, podcast about the direct tomorrow. The direct is going to be 5 uh, p.m. Eastern time, our time. So definitely, definitely stay tuned. I might even do a live reaction to it and see what is, uh, what is announced. I'm expecting a few things, but I just wanted to try this game out, try the demo out. We'll probably play both stages if we have enough time. I don't want to make this video too long, but I just wanted to... First, thank you guys for, uh, you know, 12,003, almost 12,300 views on the channel already. Thank you so much. That means the world to me. Shout out to, uh, all the new subs that will happen. You guys will get a shout out on the podcast, uh, when I do it for sure. Um, we just got a new sub. And my bad. I, for, I looked at his name, but... I didn't remember it. Um, I do apologize. I'll give you a shout out soon. But we're gonna try out this Kirby demo. A lot of people think uh, Kirby's pretty easy. He's very overlooked. It's a, usually considered an easy game. Uh, but I always loved Kirby. But that always seemed to be the knock was it was a pretty easy game. But Nintendo Direct tomorrow, guys. This is how we're gonna summon our allies. I'm assuming. Yay! Throw a, throw a friend heart to make a friend. Throw a friend heart to make a friend. Oh, we're buddies now. He wanted to murder me, but now we're friends. That's cool. It's really cool. But what I want to lead off with is I've been playing a lot of Fire Emblem. Uh, I finally played Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem Echoes. Oops. There you go, buddy. Well, we add you two. Right? We got a, we got all four buddies now. Yay! I believe uh, this is multiplayer, so if you had friends over, they could play as the ulti uh, ultimate character. You know what? Can I? Uh, how do I get? How do I get rid of this? I want to try something. I want to try. Something. guys. There you go. No, I didn't mean to kill that guy. There you go. Thanks, friends. Um, this game seems, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it seems pretty fun, but uh, I've been playing a lot of Fire Emblem Echoes. I finally opened it up, decided to play it. And this is where I want to lead off with my direct prediction. I think it's time we see the new Fire Emblem game for Switch. I think it's about time we see it. Uh, I don't know if we get a release date or anything. I'm assuming that... Oh, God, I got the same power again. I'm assuming it will be sometime... October-ish, maybe? September-ish? I think uh, Warriors came out September last year. I think the same thing. I'm gonna get the power power. That's what I want. Yeah! That's why I always love about Kir Kirby is the, the powers and everything like that. Um, this demo is on the eShop. If you got a Switch, go play it. I don't know if I'm going to pick this one up right away, uh, but I am excited. How do I... Uh... I think I need the sword for that, don't I? Well, we're missing out on puzzle piece, or maybe not. All right, we are. We'll keep the demo going, but I think I think it's time to see the new Fire Emblem. I'm almost done with uh, Shadows, so so I think it's time to see the new Switch one. Unveil it, get a trailer. I think that's going to be with this direct. I don't 
I don't want to put too much hype in this direct. A lot of people are very excited. It is a 30 minute runtime for the, the direct. So it's, uh, for perspective wise, it's twice as long as the direct mini. They said specifically it's going to be, it's going to have some 3DS games and some, uh, Switch games, including Mario Party, uh, Mario Party Tennis, which honestly I'm not really, like, super hyped about the, the Mario Party, uh, not Mario Party, but Mario Tennis, like, Mario Tennis is cool, I wish they would bring back, this is gonna make a lot of people laugh, but I wish they would bring back, you know, Mario Soccer or Mario, uh, Baseball, I really love those games on GameCube, those games were fantastic. Now I got ice powers, homie. Ooh, treasure. But I think it's 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 time direct wise. So I keep like I'm getting into the camp a little bit. Anything around I think there's gonna be something around here. There we go. It's time for the fire emblem for sure. Like I said, Mario Tennis though, I don't know. I, I it's cool, it's gonna have a story mode and stuff like that, but it's something I'm not, again, I'm not super interested in at the moment. We'll see going forward, like, what that entails and what they're gonna add to it and stuff like that. I think it will be a great game for people to play. I hope they don't, it sounds like they're gonna spend some time on this game. I hope they don't spend too much time on that game, personally. I think Fire, I think they're gonna have a few surprises. I don't think there's going to be a Smash Bros. I think there's probably going to be some more, you know, you guys are probably going to hate this, but I think there's going to be some more, more Wii U ports, maybe, just maybe one more, specifically, probably, maybe, I don't know, maybe a Mario title. You know which Switch port I want to see, but I think it's a little too, a little too early, so maybe they'll do a Xenoblade Chronicles X. Uh, Switch port, maybe that'll be announced. There's gonna be some surprises. I expect a lot of third parties. I don't... The Diablo 3 rumor for Switch seems to be real, but I don't... I don't think it's gonna be there. I think it's too early. Unless they've been working on it for a long, long time for Switch. I think it's too early to announce it. I would like to be wrong on that. I'd like to see that announced. Uh, that'd be really cool. Would I pick it up on Switch, to be honest with you? I already have Diablo on PS4, and got maybe, uh, I got a couple characters to 70 already and stuff. I don't think I'll start over again with, with Switch, even though with the portability, it makes it great. I expect a lot of other third-party stuff, stuff we, uh... <laughs> Just... Oh, let me, uh... We like the fuse here. Jump in, guys. Again, I, I expect some more third-party stuff. I, I don't, I don't expect Call of Duty or anything like that. There's a rumor about Call of Duty. There's a bunch of rumors on the direct already, but I think, I think third-party will be big here. Maybe uh, some more. Maybe it'll show off a little bit more of Dark Souls. I don't expect, even though they said 3DS games were like, the, the Direct specifically said 3DS and Switch games that are coming up this year. So I don't, it's like, a lot of us don't know um, what Nintendo releases, uh, like what uh, Nintendo uh, 3DS releases will be realistic, honestly. Um, because to me, I think they're, they need to move on from it pretty soon anyway. It's still making a good amount of money for for them. Obviously, it's, you know, 3DS is very popular, but the Switch kind of, you know, it's the two-in-one console that takes takes the cake there. So I think it needs it's selling Buku, uh, selling so much out of its mind. The Switch is so. But there's a couple I have in mind. Um, we know there's Persona Q2. That's a reality. Maybe they'll finally show that off. I don't think so. Maybe they got poured over to the Switch. Uh, there could be another Atlas type remake for the 3DS. Uh, possibly. I'm not. I'm not gonna rule it out, but I just. I'm not 100% sold on that. Like we don't. I don't know. It's gonna be. I just don't expect them to spend a lot of time on the 3DS, even though they mentioned 3DS. I expect it mostly, maybe, 
a really quick rundown of some 3DS games coming out or content coming out. I, d I don't expect a lot. I really don't expect too much from it, to be honest with you. I expect more from the Switch. I, there's going to be some surprises. I don't think Smash Brothers is going to be one. I know a lot of people want to see that tomorrow. I expect that as an E3 thing. I think that's going to be E3. Will Yoshi finally get a name and a reveal for a uh, date? That, they might hold off on E3 for that. Um, trying to run down some other possibilities. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 DLC. They just dropped a new free update that, uh, which will be my first live stream. So follow my Twitch down below. I'm trying to get that live stream set up for maybe Friday or Saturday. But obviously, depending on the podcast and how everything works out there. Because um, there's going to be a lot of content I'm trying to get you guys every day for. I do, I do apologize for... Uh, we'll let this video run while I talk a little bit more. That is just kind of fresh in my head. I think... Uh, you know, I, I, I'm excited to talk about it and get the reactions. But, you know, Melo and I did a podcast... Uh, about Switch predictions for the Game Direct. Now we didn't know that there was no announcement. This is an official announcement, so we expect it to be a little bit bigger. It is bigger, it's twice as long. So you expect some heavy hitters, but maybe some you know, Play Chronicles 2 DLC. Finally we get some word on it. Possibly, because they haven't said anything about it yet. They didn't say what the new rare blade is or anything like that. They just added seven free rare blades, which is really cool. Um, Kirby, this demo, by the way, was pretty fun. Go check it out if you got a Switch. Go play it. Super, super fun demo. Um, so it's, it's interesting. I'm trying to run down. I don't, I don't expect Smash Bros. Probably some more po Pokemon uh, DS, DX. I don't expect Pokemon at all. Besides, uh, you know, uh, Pokemon Tournament. Uh, you know, it's, it's they're probably going to announce Blastoise or somebody. I think they already mentioned Blastoise. Or show off Blastoise or something like that spend a few minutes maybe they'll have uh the world uh the world ends with you maybe they'll have a release date for that port uh probably for donkey kong they'll have a release date highway warriors i expect a release date for you know I'm just trying to run down some quick thoughts here so this video is not too long but stay tuned make sure you follow the channel thanks for all the love and support i know i kind of just ran down a lot of stuff while i was playing and i honestly I didn't do a very good job at it. I was really distracted by the Kirby game. But thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Stay tuned. More. I'm so excited for the Nintendo Direct tomorrow. We'll probably do a live. I'll probably do a live reaction to it. So stay tuned for that. We will again. I'll try to thank somebody for the podcast, or we'll talk about it. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Keep supporting the channel. I appreciate all the love. Thank you so much. I looked back at a couple older bits. Thank you for uh, a thousand views on the Catherine uh, full body uh, <laughs> trailer with Chad. Shout out to Big Chad, the bearded wonder himself. Um, we'll, 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 more anime times, more stuff are coming your way. Stay tuned, podcast. I'm sorry. I've been a little slow on that. Uh, I've been a little slow on the channel lately, but just forgive me. I've just been busy. Things going on and uh, the days are flying by. I mean, they are flying by. I'm trying to get live stream ready for you. I'm trying to grind out to level 99 in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 so we can just do a new game plus, get a hundred legendary cores, and just rip and just hope to pull all the new blades. So that's going to be my first live stream I do with you. Uh, but thanks for that. Another one, the, my Persona, my original Persona 3 and Persona 5 Dancing All Night trailer that is like like five or six months old now. You guys already pushed it over a thousand views, but it's like a thousand two hundred views or plus and it's a, such an old video i had such short hair in that i have very long hair now as you guys can tell long hair don't care but thank you so much stay tuned my twitch will be down below my twitter and so forth i'll start using more social media as you guys have uh, suggested that i'll definitely do that we'll get into streaming once streaming happens it's going to be a more of a regular thing i know i've been promising it for a while guys have been going on my twitch channel for sure i've been checking and i've seen the views just rise up i'm sorry about that but our first official stream will be xenoblade chronicles 2 i'm gonna try my hardest for friday saturday i'll let you guys know beforehand i'll probably make a video about it but go play this demo tell me what you thought about kirby allies most importantly tell me what you think 
is going to happen in Nintendo Direct. You, uh, do you, you think I'm wrong? You think Smash Bros. is going to be there? Uh, you think Pokemon's going to be there? Fire Emblem, so forth, all the games that we know about. Uh, what surprises do you want to see? Do you want to see Tokyo Mirage Sessions? Do you want to see Xenoblade Chronicles X? What other Wii U ports? Fatal Frame 5, do you want to see that ported? I think I think a lot of ports are in the pipeline. I think they I think they're gonna make my dreams come true. I just don't expect Tokyo Mirage Sessions uh, tomorrow. I expect it much later, not at E3 or anything. Uh, I think some announcements are gonna be E3, like Pokemon for sure. I think will be E3. Uh, I'm sure they want to say that same thing with Smash Bros. Like they wanna they wanna hold some of their stuff for E3. They don't want to completely, you know give up all the secrets but i expect a few surprises in this as well excited stay tuned for that thanks for all the love and support make sure you like comment and subscribe tell me what you think honestly is going to go down your fella strauss man the gg he's going to